Display styles are used to visualize design content within a model by applying a specific set of display properties. MicroStation provides the ability to define custom display styles, allowing a display style to be tailored to a specific need. In this lesson, you will define a custom display style to be used with a Dynamic Views workflow. In this lesson, you will navigate models using the mini toolbar, adjust view attributes, and customize a display style. Continue in the dynamic views seed lib, the plan view underbar sheet only model. From the data sets, standards, DGN lib, draw comp folder. Go ahead now and hover your cursor over the yellow marker to bring up the mini toolbar. From the mini toolbar, Click the icon, Open Design Model. Along the ribbon, make the View tab active. Then, in the Presentation group, click View Attributes. At the bottom of the View Attributes dialog, expand the Clip Volume Settings section. This contains controls to manipulate the display of the clip volume. Take particular attention to the display style for the forward and for the cut. These are the delivered display styles from MicroStation. Display styles are predefined collections of render overrides and some optional settings that can be applied to views, sections, or reference attachments. They are created and managed in the display styles dialog and are stored per file. The display styles are typically saved as shared resources in DGN libraries, but are copied locally when used. You will now create custom display styles based upon company standards, starting with the forward display style. From the Clip Volume Settings section of the View Attributes dialog, click the dot 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 to the right of Forward in the Display Styles Options drop down menu. This opens the Display Styles dialog, which is used to define and manage display styles in the active file and to view display styles available from DGN libraries. In the Display Styles dialog, with the forward display style highlighted, click Copy from the icon bank. A new display style, Copy of Forward, is created. Rename this to Plan Forward. Next, in the Override section, click the Element drop-down menu. If this is on, this sets the Override style for the element. Clicking the drop-down displays color, style, weight, and transparency options for the element override. You can set these override properties by selecting the respective checkbox. This setting overrides the element and bi-level properties. Set the following options in the Element drop-down menu. For the color, 0, Style, 2, and Weight, 0. The Visible Edges settings have precedence over Element Overrides. Hence, if you apply both, the Visible Edges settings and the element overrides, visible edges in the model will take the visible edges setting. Similarly, while exporting visible edges, if the visible edge overrides are set in the export visible edges dialog, they will have precedence over visible edges settings and element overrides. Next, set the following options in the visible edges drop down menu. For the color, 0, solid line style enabled, and the weight, 0. You will now create a custom display style for the cut. From the list of display styles, highlight cut, and then select copy from the icon bank. 
Go ahead now and rename copy of cut to plan cut. Set the following options in the element drop down menu. For color, select the color book tab. From the color book drop down menu, select the standard color book. Then from the available colors, select burly wood. Set the following options in the Visible Edges drop-down menu. Color, zero, solid line style, enabled, and weight, two. Continue to create custom display styles. Select a forward display style and make a copy. Name this Detail Underbar Forward. Ensure that the render mode is set for Shaded. In the Overrides drop-down menu, for color, set this to be 0. Leave all other settings toggled off. In the Visible Edges drop-down menu, ensure that the color is set for 0, Solid Line Style, Enabled, and Weight set for 0. Continuing on, for the next display style, select Cut and make a copy. Rename this copy to Elevation Forward. Ensure that the render mode is set for Filled Visible Edges. In the Overrides drop down menu, select the Color Book tab. Select the Standard Color Book. And then from here, select the color Beige. For the other settings, leave these disabled. From the Visible Edges drop down menu, select the True Color tab and then set the values for 0, 0, 0. For a Solid Line Style, enabled and a weight of 0. For the next custom display style, select the Forward display style and make a copy. Rename this as section underscore back. Ensure that the render mode is set for shaded. From the Overrides drop down menu, select the color book tab. Select the standard color book. And then select orange red as the color. Leave all the other settings disabled. From the Visible Edges drop down menu, for color, set this to be 0. The Solid Line Style enabled and the Weight 0. For the next custom display style, select the Cut and make a copy. Rename this as Section Underbar Cut. Ensure that the render mode is set for filled visible edges. From the Overrides drop down menu, select the color book tab, the standard color book, and then the color burly wood. Leave the other settings disabled. From the visible edges drop down menu, have the color set for zero, solid line style enabled. Weight, zero. And then finally, for the last custom display style, select the forward and make a copy of this. Rename it to section underbar forward with the render mode set for shaded. In the overrides drop down menu, select the true color tab and set the values for 245, 245, and 245. For the style, 2, weight, 0, and transparency, 90. From the Visible Edges drop-down menu, set the color to 0. Saw so line style enabled weight zero.
In this lesson, you navigated models using the mini toolbar, adjusted view attributes, and customized a display style. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.